Hello, mathematicians. This week we're working on 2.a.2.1, and that tells us to use objects and number lines to represent number sentences. What is a number sentence? We do a lot of language arts and math, don't we? So you know what a number line is. It's a line where the numbers are marked, and a number sentence is a mathematical sentence written in numerals and mathematical symbols. That sounds complicated. Let's take a look at that. So if you have base 10 blocks or the cubes that click together, pause this video and go grab those now, okay? So this tells us, this is the ones column, the tens column. So we have three in the ones column. And in the tens column, so those are 10. We don't have to count them. We know that that long stack there is always going to be 10. And there's only one stack of 10. So that number is 13. Same with here, so we count one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's only one stack of 10, so that's a one. So we have 13, what's our operation here is addition. So now we're going to add six plus three. If you don't know what that is, you can count how many cubes we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine ones. And how many of the stacks of 10 do we have now? Now we have two. So our number sentence is 13 plus 16 is 29. Or we can write it like this, like a sentence. 13 plus 16 29 okay we can do the same thing when we're subtracting so we have 18 so we start out with eight singles eight ones one two four five six seven eight and then we have one to make 18 so we have one and eight and then seven so we don't have any in the ones column so it's blank and then we have seven here okay see that so then we have eight minus seven and that leaves us with one in the ones column and we still have one of these left so that's one so 18 minus seven is 11. It's very hard to write on a computer. I always tell you guys. Okay. You can also do this exact same thing on a number line. So it says show 28 plus eight. So you start at 28 and then you move it up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 28 plus eight equals what number is that? 36. So you just count forward eight numbers because we're adding eight. So our number sentence is 28 plus eight equals 36. Okay, you can do the same thing with subtraction. So if it's 38 minus nine, you start at 38, you start at this number here on the left, and then now we're gonna go backwards. So we're going to the left because it's a minus. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a nine and we land on the number 29 so our number sentence is 38 minus 9 equals 29 okay now you can use base 10 blocks to help you with these if you want or you can just add these and subtract number three so pause the video and add 23 plus 7 17 plus 9 and then subtract 28 minus 6 and then turn the video back on to check your work. Pause the video now. Okay, so check your work. 23 plus seven, seven plus three is 10. So you put the zero down, you carry the one, and then you have three in the tens column. So we have 30, okay? 17 plus nine is 26. You can see my work here. 28 minus 6 
8 minus 6 is 2. And then we're left with 2 here. Bring the 2 down. So 28 minus 6 is 22. Is this what you got? Okay, next is the number line. So use your number line. So make a number line on your whiteboard or on your paper. And do 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43. And then on your second one, you're going to do 37 to 47. 32 plus 10 and 47 plus 9. And then once you use the number line to represent each of the following. So pause and do that now. Okay, here's our first one, 32 plus 10. Now you may know how to add that because we talked about adding 10s before, but it, the, remember the objective was to show it, uh, represent it with something. So this is how we're representing it on our number line here. 32 plus 10. So if we want to take and represent subtraction, we're going to start at 47. It wants us to go down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 47 minus 9 is 38. Okay, this time you're going to use your base 10 blocks again. 32 plus 8. Let's see. Let's make our base 10 blocks. Can't get my pencil up. So we have... So we have 8 single ones. And you can draw these on if you don't have them. 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that represents this number. And we have the 32. So we have one, two, three. That one has two singles. Okay. So you add those up, we have 8, 9, 10. So we have, remember we have to bring it up like this. So now we have 4 in the 10s. So 38, or 32 plus 8 is 40. Okay, try the next one. 28 minus 7 and 38 minus 5. Okay, so when we're subtracting, we're going to take away all these 7s because it's minus 7. This is 8, so we got to take all the way except 1. So that leaves us with 1 in the 1's column and 2 in the 10's column. So 28 minus 7 is 21. Okay, what about 38 minus 5? When you do it with base 10 blocks, what do you get? Okay, so you have 8 in the 1's column, 3 in the 10's column, and then 5 in the ones column. So we're taking away 5, so we got to take away all from 5 from here. We have to take 5 away from here. That leaves us 3 in the ones column. And 3 in the tens column. So you should have got 33 for your answer. If not, you might want to go find an adult or an older sibling to see if they can help you figure out what went wrong. Okay, last two. I'll represent those number lines. Make a number line from 43 to 53. And then once you add 43 plus 9 using the number line. So pause your computer and figure this out. Draw your number line and figure this out on the number line. Even if you know how to do it, you need to represent it on the number line. Okay, so we start at 43 and we're going to add 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 43 plus 9 is 52. Okay, this one's subtraction, so make your number line from 27 to 37. Pause the video and do that now. And now we're going to do 36 minus 8. So pause the video and figure that out. OK, 
Okay, so we start at 36. We go down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 36 minus 8 is 28. Is that what you got? I hope so. Okay, practice on these this week and you're going to do great. I just know it.